I want to quickly cover using Team Explorer in Visual Studio in order to create working branches off of your master branch. Now the purpose of creating a working branch is so that you can silo your work for each different task that you may be working on. Sometimes tasks are, are a, an entire feature, so you might be working on feature A and um, you would want to create a branch then for feature A. When you moved on and you were working on feature B, you would not want to check in those changes to or commit those changes to feature B working branch. You would want to have its own feature B working branch. Um, keeping those branches siloed for the different tasks or those different chunks of work that you'll be doing is a good practice. So I'm going to do this in Team Explorer. If you right click on Master, one of the first things you want to do is do a pull. You want to make sure that your latest copy, that you have the latest copy of Master. Um, I'm going to go to the Synchronization tab and I'm going to do a pull, which is going out grabbing anything that is new in the master branch out on the server and bringing it to down to my um, local master branch. And so I have, by doing that, I ensure that I have the latest copy of what is ever in master out on the server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and do create a new local branch from master. Now notice um, up here is where I will type my working branch name. Maybe I'll type it new feature A. This will be the a friendly name for my branch that I'm going to be working from. Um, maybe um, you might want to even put that in a special directory or a, um, another layer under my own name, under your own name. Um, in order to give it separation from anybody else's folders or uh, branches that you might be working with. So I'm going to create a, my branch and notice how I have new feature A. Now this is a copy of master and this is where I'm going to be doing all of my work for a, one specific task or one specific chunk of work. And it's good practice to say if I'm moving on and I'm done with that to um, not continue just to check into this branch, but to make a new branch for every little chunk of code I do. Now maybe maybe your policy is to create a branch for every feature or every task or story, but the importance really is is to make sure that you create a branch for um, each section of um, each task or each story or each chunk of work that you're working on. So if I wanted to cre create another uh, working folder, a working branch, I would just create a brand new one by doing the same process. So I have feature A and feature B branches. And if I'm implementing or coding stuff for feature A, I'm going to be putting that in this branch. And if I'm doing feature B work, I'm going to be doing this in this one. I really shouldn't be crossing branches and or just working out of one branch should name my branch about the, the chunk of code that it's going to be responsible for. Name my other branch the chunk of code it'll be responsible for. And then when I'm done, I can do a pull request to get that um, those changes into master. Um, but the, really the importance is to make sure that you're creating a new branch um, for every um, chunk of code that might be part of your project process. If you're using Agile, that might be a task. If you're assigned to task, you might create this branch and, and put the task number in it or the task name in it. Um, that way you have that section or that silo of work that you're working on in that new branch. Don't continue to use the same branch um, over and over. Um, the separation is uh, an important an important uh, aspect to doing some of the branching that you'll be doing in, in uh, Visual Studio.